you. Well, tomorrow, more than 40 makers will take over the Slabtown area, area for the second annual Makers Fair. The entire block in front of Hammer and Stitch Brewing Company on Northwest Wilson Street will be shut down for all kinds of fun things. So you get to enjoy a free family event in Northwest Portland. Our Core Harlan got a sneak peek of what you can expect. All right, that is a handcrafted turn bowl that you're looking at right there. Somebody made that out of wood. Uh, on a lathe, and it is part of the Makers Fair that's happening in Northwest Portland this coming Saturday. We'll tell you a little bit more about the time and the place coming up. Uh, but I have all the people assembled here, and when I say Makers Fair, I mean Makers Fair. Jubal is my guy over here to my left, and Nicole to my left as well. Uh, you're organizing the Makers Fair. Uh, tell me a little bit about this. There's going to be a street party out here, and the Makers Fair, I guess by definition, is just a platform for people who make things to kind of show them off and have a good time with people, right? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm with a group called Assemblage. We began during the pandemic to support local makers. We've teamed up with Hammer and Stitch to bring our second annual Makers Fair. Um, our focus is on local makers. Yeah. I, I, I sell and vend myself, yeah. mostly because I enjoy meeting other people. Yeah. But we really want to highlight local makers and let people know that anything you want, you can buy from a local person. It's at Hammer and Stitch, the brewery over here in Northwest Portland. Freeland Spirits will be here, and this is Heidi. We've talked with her before here. Uh, and and uh, Susanna over to her left, which is a small chocolate maker. I'm a wonder if both of you respond to this. You're small makers of things. How does having a, like a platform like the Makers Fair help? Well, in the small business world, community is everything, and that's the best way to... Uh, talk to people, to meet people, to tell them about, about our product. And so to have a place like Assemblage to sell anything and connect is key for our business. Susanna, small chocolates out of cute little tins. Same, same question. Yeah, the, the same. Um, I think it's very important for small businesses to have an avenue like this to, to have exposure, get exposure, and sell better. Yeah, so it really people, people, people can't buy your stuff or they don't know where you are, and they will know where Freeland Spirits is as well. And again, the name of your small business is, uh, it's on the back of the business card. Retreat, yeah, it's cool little small chocolates in tins, and of course spirits over there. You guys are just off of Vaughn, Northwest Vaughn, right? Yeah, yeah Northwest Portland. Anyway, and uh, beer, Hammer and Stitch, got all the beer out here as well. There'll be plenty of this served. Food, I'm assuming as well, will be part of the deal as well this weekend. They'll be inside here. Uh, they will also close off the street out here on Northwest Wilson. This is between 23rd and 24th, so it will have sort of a street fair kind of an atmosphere to it out here in Northwest Portland. The Makers Fair coming up this Saturday from noon to 6 o'clock out in, in the street in front of Hammer and Stitch Brewing here in Northwest Portland.